Alrighty, so um, it was a pretty eventful day today. I was there for um, a decent amount of time. Um, so to start it off, uh, Fox Construction Company was there this morning, and it looks like they were taking inventory of all the product in the storage area. And then the storage area almost doubled in size, which you'll see in the next clip. But um, as you can tell, a lot of supports came in last night. Um, so uh, we have, I think almost all the support columns for the lift hill. I think we're missing two more support columns for the lift hill. If I had to take a guess based off of blueprints and all that, two more support columns. Um, we're hearing that deliveries will be every day now. So that does contradict previous information we did provide. So we're hearing that um, deliveries will be every day. There'll be probably one delivery per day. This is excluding the stuff coming from Germany. This is just coming from the Clearmount Steel Factory on the flatbeds. Um, anything that comes in a shipping container is coming from Germany. And those are typically just parts for the coaster themselves and not actually the coaster. So the coaster, anything coming from Clearmount, um, is on a flatbed and it uh, it is uh, <laughs> supports and um, track pieces. So another lift motor did arrive. And this is definitely what arrived is the big lift motor. I'll show you that in a second. But here you can see how, uh, yeah, they doubled the, uh, the storage area. Uh, and this is probably because the lift pieces are on their way. We're missing two track pieces for the turnout of the station. Uh, so two turning pieces out of the station we're missing. And we're missing uh, the pre-lift, which is done, and the first piece of the lift hill, which is done and waiting to ship. So those are probably going to arrive this week. And uh, that, like, I can't believe how quickly things are arriving. I mean, so in the back there, you can see that pre-lift I'm talking, or sorry, the motor for the lift hill. See how massive that is? That's the motor for the lift hill right there in the back. We'll get to that in a bit. Um, so based off of information, I analyzed everything in here. It is looking like the coaster might be 234 feet tall in that range, maybe 240. And the drop on the coaster, that means we'll be in the 250, 268 range, um, like we were starting to discuss in our previous videos. It is starting to look like that is the case based off of what we're seeing. And we're able to calculate that because of the uh, 60 foot, um, span on the support beams and where they're located and how much of the lift hill is left. So we're predicting again around a 230 foot tall dive coaster with a 250, 260 something drop. Um, and the dive coaster will definitely take the um, length record based off of what we're seeing. Um, and again, here is some of the proof on how we're able to um, kind of figure out how tall this coaster is going to be. Again, we're not fully sure. Like That is an assumption that Amusement Insiders is making. So what you want to do with that information is totally up to you. Um, again, you will not know anything about this coaster until the announcement day for sure. Um, so basically what was going on today is Fox was looked like they were taking inventory in here. Um, the construction site is ready to go in terms of vertical. There were people on the construction site with blueprints and um, lots of uh, getting things moved over to the fence area back there. So vertical did not fully start today, but the process of it definitely did. So again, they were taking inventory, um, track pieces and supports are gonna be arriving daily now from Clearmount. And um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna be there tomorrow. I got my drone um, updating and charging again because I think it's gonna be any day now that I'm gonna start using my drone again. So hopefully you're excited for that. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, look at this room <laughs> and look at those support beams that arrived. They're absolutely massive. And, uh, we know that all the equipment for vertical construction is on site and ready to go as well. It is just about, um, waiting for it to actually happen. We know that there was a team of about 20 people today on site doing that inventory of what's in there already. So that was really amazing, um, to see um and uh hear about and uh, as you can see we have new markings spray paint markings that are littered throughout timberwolf's forest so we know that support column 63 and 62 and 61 and 50 stuff is in there we know that they're the they're on the nails in the ground with the orange tape on them but there's all these interesting red markings or red spray paint that have appeared throughout timberwolf's queue line um, in the Timberwolf Forest, all the way over to where I know the coaster does this deek turn out of a zero G something. So that's really cool. Um, definitely there, the progress is ramping up and, um, I'm asking myself, do we potentially think that this path can close a little earlier and they'll just use the other path into Splashworks? 
because they do need to start construction if they're removing a lot of trees. Or is this coaster going to stay above the tree line for the most part as that we know they don't like removing trees? A lot of questions are raised by this and I can't give you an answer yet on that. Um, hopefully you guys like this construction update. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for a lot of vertical construction updates this week and next week. Anyways, thanks so much guys for watching and have a good one. Bye.